Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to another video. So, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace a Catalyst converter on the 2016 Nissan Versa. I got the new one here. I'm gonna uh, get my box cutter, open it. The ones that's on this Versa is clogged. That's the reason I'm replacing it. And both oxygen sensors have been replaced, upper and lower. So. Here's a new one that comes with new hardware, which is the, I, I just went and got the cheapest catalytic converter for this car. I didn't go OEM with this. And of course, new gaskets. Is that all that's in here? Yeah. So what you are going to need is an impact safety glasses. That way, when you're loosening the bolts, Nothing's falling into your eyes, which I gotta go get mine. So you're gonna need a 14 mil extension and oxygen sensor socket. You are going to need, you're also gonna need a ratchet and a 7 8 oxygen tool, socket tool. So I'm gonna get my safety glasses and then I'm gonna set y'all up on the tripod. All right, my tripod is a little too big. For this side, but at the back of the catalytic converter, that's the two bolts we're gonna lose. So I'm gonna set you outside that way it's not in my way, and hopefully the camera will still be able to get angle. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we ain't gonna take out the oxygen sensor since the catalytic converter is coming out. We do that once it's off the car. So just take it out from the sockets, well, clips, whatever you wanna call it. And then push on the tab, then we zoom you in. Push on the tab and pull out. So now that's out the way, we're gonna get a couple extensions because the bolts is up there. So we ain't gonna be able to get any closer because of this frame right here so we got out because of this frame so we're gonna get a couple extensions and do it from here all right so i got two extensions i believe about six inches so about 12 if you have a 12 inch extension you're good so i'm able to get up to there and get past the frame and then i'm gonna add my impact so i'm gonna back the camera well move the camera to the side because it's in my viewer site and working space. So, impact up there. So I if I got the camera over, or it turned it around accidentally. So, let's see. side and i'm also supporting the um catalytic converter with my other hand that way it doesn't fall on my face so now we are going to do the other side to get the camera away out of pocket. I got the other boat out, so now I'm just sliding the camera converter out. I might have to wiggle it. All right, so we got it out. All right, so now that we got it out the car, we are going to take out the oxygen sensor. Uh, 
right, so that's out. All right, so now we're going to cut this one out. Oh, it. Well, unwrap it. I thought I had to cut it for yeah, I do. In the center. All right, so here's the new catalytic converter. Set that right there. We're going to take out the two baskets. The bigger one goes up here, as so. And then the smaller one goes on the opposite end. All right, so we're, now we're gonna get the bolts and stuff like that. We're going to cut that open. Some of these are tangled. All right, so they're all the same size, so it doesn't matter. And then, of course, put the springs to each one. These nuts and washers we don't need because the factory ones already has a nut and stuff welded to the exhaust manifold and then also on the exhaust pipe. So these, you can save it for whatever else you want to use, but we don't need it. So here's the hard part. I'm not gonna be able to put the camera in there cause I'm gonna have to wiggle myself in there to get this lined up to the bow holes and put the springs, but I'll show y'all after. All right, so I got the new one set in. I haven't put those bolts in. And to get this, once you put the gasket in here, instead of taking this off the rubber um, installations, I just put one foot down here and I push this whole section back with my foot so I could get this right in there and then once it, it was set it i let my foot off so it could hold into place so it's holding on with no bolts and i didn't realize this doesn't come with wash um a nut welder on the back side so we are going to need those washers and nuts for this section but that part up there we good so i'm gonna try get y'all i also got a flashlight so i, I can also see you up there so I'm gonna try set on the tripod. All right, so I hand tighten it and now those are fully secured. I use the impact, once I hand tighten it, I use the impact and tighten it. So the only thing we got left to do is this section. I'm gonna get the nuts and washers and then be right back. All right, so I'm gonna get this off the socket. Switch back to my swivel. Hopefully I'm not in the camera's way. So what we are going to do on this side is this bolt and spring. And then on the opposite side is going to be the nut and washer. So I'm going to do it like this. Side, and I'm gonna do the opposite. So the night is seventeen. And then this is the same as OEM 14. So let's see which way I'm gonna. Yep, I'm gonna hold this one. I wanna do it like this first before I hit it with the impact. All 
right. Now I'm gonna switch to the impact. I'm gonna get my 14. I wish I had ramps, something salt, more space on the knee fair. Alright, so now that we got this these two tightened, last thing we gotta do is reinstall the oxygen sensor. And since we took this off the old one, we're gonna put new anesthes around the threads. So be right back. All right, so now that we got some new NSCs on, we're going to reinstall it and back back y'all. All right. Oops. All right, so now that we got a hand tightened, we're going to tighten it with the Turn the socket around. All right. So on this aftermarket, the oxygen sensor is small, pointed upwards. So it makes it, that's why the angle is different. All right, we'll one more time. Connect the harness. Oops, lost the cord. Reconnect the harness. Do the socket first. You hear it click into place. reconnect it so now I'll put it around it put some slack on this side put that and that is how you replace the catalytic converter on a Nissan Versa so that's it for this video like comment subscribe see you in the next one peace